Hey everybody, this is Seeds from Addicted to Guitar, and uh, right here I got this cool Crate Electra, which is a guitar that I've had a lot of fun doing uh, improvements and modifications on, and one of the things I tried to do was uh, improve this bridge here. So I got these saddles online, and they actually sound pretty good, they got little brass rollers on there, but unfortunately uh, they sit a little too high for this guy, so um, what I ended up doing is getting a Fender Mexican Strat bridge with this cool big block on there. So if we can get that on there, it should have some nice sustain and tone for us. And from what I understand, the uh, screw spacings should match up. I didn't want to have to uh, fill in these screw holes and drill a bigger American style one and then have to cut out a little bit of the uh, pick guard here like you'd have to. So hopefully this will go on pretty cool. My only concern is that this big block will fit into this routing back here. So we'll see. As you can see, the one that it came with has this little one. Uh, and this one is going to be substantially larger and will definitely improve our tone and sustain. So uh, you guys will be with me while I go through this and hopefully it'll work. And if it doesn't, uh, I guess we'll all learn something. All right, everybody, so I took all the strings off, and we're going to get this tremolo arm out of here. Now I'm just going to take this old bridge out. As you can see in one of my modifications, I took that screw out, and it's actually uh, the wood is a little stripped, so we'll put a little bit of a toothpick in there and some uh, some wood glue, and we'll get that hole to, uh, to work again. But slowly we'll just take this guy off. And I actually have a, a new set of Fender wood screws, bridge wood screws, so this is a great opportunity for me to use a set of those guys. And uh, not only will it look a little better, but hopefully the extra metal and the longer screw will help the taint the tone and the sustain. Okay. So, like I said, this was the old one. It's got the little block on there. It's got those saddles that I put on there. And actually, these saddles were pretty inexpensive. I got them off of eBay, and they've got these little brass rollers, and they improved the sound and the tone considerably. Unfortunately, they sat, as you can see here, they sat a little higher than the other saddles did, and it uh, turned the action uh, real high and I had to uh, try to shim the neck here with a little piece of plastic so when we put this new uh, bridge on there hopefully we can take this neck off and get that shim out of there and it'll be back to the way it was from the factory or even better hopefully okay everybody so I wanted to show you that um, the screw spacings actually match up perfectly which is great uh, I did a couple of guitars before I realized that the import ones screw spacings were kind of standardized but smaller than the American ones. So I've got a couple of these modifications that I did where I had to uh, fill in the holes and then uh, re-drill some bigger holes and then the pick guards didn't always line up so I'd have to cut a little piece of the pick guards here and they actually work out okay but being able to do this and fit it into the correct size uh, for the neck width and then the tremolo screws think it's going to work out a lot better. I'm already thinking though that um, the block might end up being a little big for this cavity but uh, we'll put in a couple screw there, screws in there and we'll see what we have to do. Maybe we'll just take a little Dremel tool and route out a little bit of uh, wood there to give this guy a little more movements. Okay so I just put in a couple of these old screws real quick to uh, see where we're at and actually the screw placements work perfectly but like I expected the block in the back doesn't quite want to move and actually what's giving it the bigger problem is the lip of the guitar back here I think if we can alleviate some of that it might actually move a little more for us. I think we'll probably have to do a lot more routing in the back here. 
at least a little bit. So just uh, real quick, I'm going to try to make some markings in here. So when we take it out, we have a little bit of an idea of how much space we're going to need. Alright, so I put a little bit of tape on there so I can make some markings on top here. And it seems like we've got what looks like about a quarter inch that we can remove and you still wouldn't be able to see it with the tremolo in. So I figure we'll try to stay a little shy of the line, but that's about how much wood we can take out of here. The block runs to about there, and the block runs to about there. So we've got some wood to remove here. This is always a little more scary than some of the other stuff, but just as fun. So I'm going to try to get a straight line and just put a little bit of score in the finish here so we know where we can cut up to. And I'm staying a little shy of that tremolo line there. So, what we want to remove is this wood and this piece of tape here. Okay everybody, I got my trusty Dremel tool here. And we're going to try to carefully and as straight as possible cut this little piece of wood out. Uh, this most likely would be done a little better with some more refined tools. Um, but this is what we're going to do right now. and. Um, so what's great about working on these inexpensive guitars that if it doesn't work out, you learn something and you move on. So let's see what we can do. Okay, so I got a pretty nice straight cut here in the finish. 
Uh, this piece of wood, which is the top, is pretty thick. It's almost a half an inch. So I'm going to try to see if I can just break away the rest of it. Um, doesn't really matter too much what it looks like underneath here as long as this finished edge is nice and smooth and clean. So I've got this little uh, this little chisel here. I'm just going to try to chisel off the rest of the wood here. So not too bad. I think I can sand down the rest of it and make it nice and straight. All right, guys. So I went ahead and used uh, this little rectangular file to uh, straighten out the cut. And actually, it doesn't look half bad. We did chip off some of the finish here. So maybe I should have put a piece of tape there while I was chiseling it to hold the finish in. But um, what's great is that most of that won't be seen when we put this guy in there. And we'll just have a little bit of marks there, but uh, these days we call those relic marks and not necessarily scratches. So there you go. We got a little more movement, but it looks like we're going to have to take a little bit out of the back. So I'm going to put a couple more screws in there and see where we got to chisel out some of the uh, back of the cavity here. All right, everybody. So if you can see here, this is where it's touching, begins to touch the uh, the back of the routing cavity here. So this is what we got to start taking some material out of. And I've got the lines here to show me where it kind of starts and stops. So I'll go too far around there. So we're just going to take a little bit of this guitar insides. And um, we'll see, we'll probably take it to about here. On the inside so that'll give us a little more movement really don't need too much more um, but you know, if we want to pull forward and do a nice dive with it or let the strings rattle at the bottom which is some of the cool parts of tremolos uh, we're gonna need to make a little more space for it so we're gonna do that right now all right everybody so I've got it kind of marked off I've got a little square drawn in there uh, so I can see where I want to take some off and then we'll take some off, we'll screw it back in and we'll see if we need more later. Here we go.
see, I've got a nice little groove in there. I don't know if you can see it too well. It might be too hard to put on the camera here. But um, looks like the uh, block goes a little bit into the guitar. And we've got uh, a lot more travel room there on the uh, tremolo. So that is pretty good, I would say. Um, but I think I want to get a little bit more. So I think I'm going to take the chisel to it now that we've got the correct size hole. And we'll just try to get maybe another, I don't know, quarter inch of it to move in there for us. And that should be it. guys so after a fair amount of work I'm gonna try to give you guys a good angle of it but uh, as you can see we got a nice cavity in there it's not the prettiest thing in the world the Dremel did a good job of doing the extra work and rounding out the edges it's not pretty but I don't think anybody will see it especially when you put that back base plate on it and now this tremolo has a fair amount of movement. So I'm gonna get out those uh, sweet fender screws I've got, put this bad boy in there, and then I'll give you guys a look at the final product.
I want to give you guys a look at how it looks in the back here. That's me pushing down on the tremolo. And uh, you can see that uh, we are good. There's a little bit of a rock there, but I think that's from the front, not from the back. And when I got some string tension on it, that'll go away. But look at that. That is nice. All right, everybody, I've got the tremolo arm in there. I've got some springs attached to it. And I'm taking a look at this, and this is pretty good. I can get the tremolo bar all the way to the, uh, to the plate here, well, almost all the way. And uh, I got all that clearance, so I am really happy with the way this came out. So I think I'm gonna end the video right there because it's getting kind of long. Next video, I will uh, probably take the shim out of the neck there put some strings on it, uh, get all this calibrated and intonated, and then uh, give you guys a look at how it's, uh, how it's working. All right, so if you like what we did here, please subscribe, Addicted to Guitar. It's everything and anything guitars. So uh, I appreciate you going through this journey with me. And um, if you have any uh, tips or tricks or comments on how we did this or ways that uh, we can do it easier or better, please leave them in the comments. Uh, and I uh, appreciate your time. Thanks.